Okay, wow, that intro turned out to be really better than I expected. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I share weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if you want to learn more about DaVinci, make sure to check out my other videos. Today I will show you how you can create this awesome speed ramp effect in DaVinci Resolve. You probably seen this millions of times. You can really be creative with this effect. I use it all the time on my own videos. Let's dive right in and see how we can create this effect. I have my clip on my timeline. I shot this with Sony a7S III and a gimbal. First of all, you will go right click and we want to select three time controls. You can also press Command R on the Mac or Control R on the Windows. When we click on that, the speed of the clip appears. Go to the point where we want our speed ramping to start. Click on this icon, select add a speed point here and you will see clip will be divided. We will add another speed point at the end. Then we can simply click on this icon, change the percentage of the speed of our clip. I will make 200 and I will also speed up this part as well. I will change the middle part of this clip to 25% because I shot this in 120 frames per second, so I can go as low as 25% for my speed. As you can see, our clip got really long. If I play back this, we have a really nice slow motion, but it's too long. If you want to make a speed change, you can go to this half of the marker and drag that like this. First half of our clip will be longer. If we drag this marker like this, we will keep our speed percentage but make our clip shorter. If we use the top handle, you can see down here speed will change. Let's keep it at 200. Now we have a just simple speed ramp effect. We actually want to make it even more smoother. We need to right click on our clip, then we will select Retime Curve. We will go to this drop down menu. We are not interested in Retime Frame. Uncheck that box. We will activate the Retime Speed box. Our speed coming with 200 drops immediately to 25% and then goes up to 200 again. It's a really strong cut between these speed points. So we are going to make a curve. To do that, we will simply select our keyframe and then click on this icon, drag this handles and we will do the exactly same thing. And now we can see that our speed ramp effect is getting much more smoother because it will gradually ease in to 25% and then ease out to 200. It's very smooth. It's looking perfect. If you want to make it even better, if you want to make a, for example, transition, we can simply put another clip next to it. And it, this one is also has a speed ramp. These two clips need to blend a little bit better. So you will simply go into the effects and drop a adjustment clip. Let's just adjust the positions. Click on the adjustment clip on the filters go down to camera shake and drop that on the adjustment clip give it a fade in and fade out so it won't be that strong and go into the effects tab play around with this settings there are like a bunch of settings I'm just using this motion blur as a last step we can click our adjustment clip go down to composite mode and change it to soft light now we have this with the color grading, it will look a lot better. And I think it's looking perfect. We have an amazing transition. I can also show you the timeline of the intro video. I did exactly the same thing. I put an adjustment clip on top. They also have the color grading. That's why it's looking so pop. And I also added a just regular video transition. It's a deep to color dissolve, but I played around with its settings, so it won't be that much effective. I have a couple of sound effects, whoosh sound effects, and that's actually it. We have this awesome slow motion speed ramped clip. You can really go crazy with these effects. I just applied one or two adjustment clip to do transitions. I also have like this grungy metallic blue color for this video. I intentionally make it like this. I want to get a like really deep blue colors. If you want to know how I created this look, just let me know. If you like this video, drop a like, comment, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, take care.